the sky. All spectrum colors fly. A rainbow stretches far, covering any scar. But often, close to earth, these colors have a birth, as many rainbows play in the flowers of May. Thank you, Franklin F. Buell. Now I want to have a very serious talk with you. I want to speak to you from John 15. Where Jesus Christ says, As my Father loved me, I have loved you. Do you realize what's going on here? He is saying, As God has loved Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ has loved you. Do you realize how big that is? Do you realize that you don't need anything else? Do you realize that that is everything? Abide in my love. That's all you have to do, folks, is to abide in the love of Christ. Christ says, if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I, Christ, have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his life. Did he ever, did he ever, carrying a cross, being nailed to it, suffering in the hot sun until he expired, did he ever love his Father? Did he ever love you? Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. In other words, Christ kept the commandment to love God. And that's the commandment to you. Love God. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you. What more could you ask, folks? All Christ wanted was his joy to remain in you. Joy to remain in you. And that your joy may be full. He didn't want you to have some joy. He wanted you to have full joy. Then comes Can you say it's the top sentence in the whole Bible? Well, it's certainly one of the top five. And then Christ says, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. That's all he asks. As Christ has loved you, that you should love one another the same way Christ has loved you. This is my commandment, my commandment to you. You love one another as I have loved you. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. I'm reading to you from John 15, one of the best in the Bible. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. And did he ever lay down his life for you? And you notice that he's bringing in the word friends now? He says, you are my friends. Big words. 
You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. And all he commanded you to do was what? To love one another as he loved you. Do you realize how big that love is? No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. Everything that Christ heard from God, Christ made known to you. Any bigger gift than that? You did not choose me, Christ said, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. And listen to this, folks. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. Whatever you ask the Father in the name of Jesus Christ, the Father will give you. You bear fruit. Says Christ finally, these things I command you, that you love one another. Can you beat that? No, you cannot. That you love one another. John 15. to bring to your attention some words. The first word is alert. Brisk, lively, on the watch, prompt, ready. Vigilant and wide awake. The second word is the elementary canal. That's the food carrying tube from the mouth to the anus. It's one tube. Third word. All American, exclusively American. Fourth word, allege to declare as if under oath, to state positively but without proof. Well, I declare under oath that God is the best friend that you can have. And I declare that with proof. Allege to assert without proof, but with readiness or ability to produce proof. I assert it with proof, and I have the readiness and the ability to produce the proof. And not only that do I allege, I adduce. I adduce, which means I produce the evidence of that which I allege, that God is your best friend. And there's only one way to do this. 5 a.m., God first alone for two hours, and 6 to 8 p.m., retreat, God alone, until you know God as your friend. Advance is to propose for acceptance. Well, it's all been accepted. There's nothing to propose for acceptance. 
An allegory is an extended metaphor. Allegiance, I know where my allegiance is. Alleviate, to lighten or lessen mental or physical troubles, to mitigate, to assuage, to allay. What will do that for you? One thing and one thing only. 5 a.m., your alone time with God for two hours. And you read the Bible, and you meditate on it, and you sing a hymn, and you say a prayer. And then you meditate what you have been created to create. And then you study your words. Alliance. A connection of two or more bodies for the mutual benefit of each. And the last word is allocution, and that means a hortatory speech, and that's what I've been giving you. Don't you wait another minute. Tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., you spend your alone time with God, and tomorrow night at 6 p.m., to 8 p.m. You will spend your alone time with God. I have some jokes for you. Will you stay here with Amadeus while I go get your jokes? This is July the 28th, 2008. Anno Domini. The reporter asked the school teacher, what are the three things you like best about being a teacher? And she said, motivating young minds, shaping the next generation, making good Americans. The reporter said to the teacher next to her, what are the three things you like best about being a teacher? And that teacher said, June, July, and August. A boy said in school, the kids in colonial times really had it tough. They had to play their video games by candlelight. The teacher said, name a cultural contribution by the Phoenicians. And the girl said, Phoenician blinds. What is an indentured servant? A slave with false teeth. If we breathe oxygen in the daytime, what do we breathe at night? Nitrogen. Now, dear, the groom said, we have to settle down the business. The honeymoon is over. Do you want to be the president or the vice president? And she said, you can be both, dear. I will just be the treasurer. Why did the teacher like to teach kindergarten? Because she liked to make little things count. The superintendent of schools announced at the school board meeting, our student body suffers from seven dwarf syndrome. Every seventh kid is dopey. Old principles never die. They just lose their faculties. What does a report card teach a parent? What does a report card teach a parent? You don't have to lift weights to raise a dumbbell. And the mother said to Harry, you have to go to school today. 
I don't care if you don't feel like going to school today. And Harry says, but the custodians have it in for me. The teachers have it in for me. The students have it in for me. The mother said, I don't care. You still have to go to school today. You're young, you're talented, you have much to offer. And besides, you're 45 years old in the principal. This is Glendora, a cheerful look at life. And it's brought to you by. We will have to send, sing our own hymns. Since our CD is not functional. Here's a very good one. O oh, Master, let me walk with thee in lowly paths of service free. That's what a chat with Glendora is. Lowly paths of service free. Teach me thy secret. Help me to bear the strain of stress, the fret of care. Teach me thy patience, one with thee. In dearer, closer company, in work that keeps faith sweet and strong, in trust that triumphs over wrong. Just as I am with one queen. But that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. For all the saints who from their labors rest, this is Franklin, Franklin and Buell, who thou by faith before the world confessed, thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia, alleluia. I need thee every hour, most Gracious Lord, no tender voice like thine can peace afford. I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior, I come, come to Thee. St. Francis' hymn, The Kindness to Animals. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your hearts and let us sing. Just be kind, stop the cruel, thou cows and pigs, leave them alone. The horses, hens, and turkeys, too, free the fish, oh, save them. Just be kind, one with God, hallelujah, stop the cruel. Help, help the dogs and help the cats. Help protect the deer and little fawn. Be like Bambi. Feed, feed the animals in the woods. Share, share with them all your goods. Just be kind, stop the cruel. One with God, hallelujah, hallelujah. The church's one foundation is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his own creation. 
by water and the word from heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride with his own blood he bought her and for her life he died joyful joyful we adore thee god of beauty god of grace hearts unfold like flowers before the opening to the stars above melt the clouds of sin and darkness Drive the dark of doubt away, giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O oh, my soul, praise him, for he is thy help and salvation. All ye who hear, to his temple draw near, join us in glad adoration. Okay, one more, and we shall part for the month of July. These programs are to be cablecast and webcast in the month of August 2008. And our goodbye hymn is Be still, my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of Stress or strain, leave to thy God to order and provide in every way he faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, thy best, thy heavenly friend, through thorny paths leads to a joyful end. Lord, dismiss us with thy blessing. Fill our hearts with joy and peace. Let us ease thy love possessing. Triumph in redeeming grace. Oh, refresh us, oh, refresh us. Traveling through this blissful world. End of safe messages. To return to the main menu, press star. Retrieve your message.